you are lucky enough to own your own Shetland pony, there is one thing you need to know about, and that is the problem of the dreaded laminitis. Now this does affect a lot of children's ponies, so let's have a look at what causes it and how we can fix it. Now laminitis is a condition that is caused by the ponies being too fat and eating too much sugary grass. And the sugar in the grass causes the pony's feet to be very sore. Underneath the pony's hoof wall, there are laminae and these can swell. And that's why it's called laminitis and it makes it very sore for the ponies. So, how can you tell if your pony has laminitis? Well, first of all, he won't be able to walk very comfortably and his hooves will feel hot if you can touch them at the top of the hoof. Now, Toffee's not standing still for me here, but if you could put your hand on the top of the hoof, it would feel hot. Secondly, if you felt his neck, you could see that it might feel hard and lumpy. We'd call that a cresty neck. And that's a sign that he's a bit fat and potentially could get laminitis. So that's an early warning sign. Sore hooves and hot hooves and a neck that is a bit cresty. You may also notice him lying down a bit more to keep the weight off his feet. So that's another sign. Let's have a look at the three main causes of laminitis. And firstly and foremost, it's too much grass, normally in the springtime, which is full of sugar, and that makes the ponies way too fat. But it's not just in the springtime that you have to be on the watch for laminitis, because you can get a frost or snow-induced laminitis in the winter. The snow acts as a blanket on the grass and underneath the snow, the grass is quite sugary and so the ponies can eat it and that can cause them problems. Now this year, hard ground has also caused laminitis. This is called concussion laminitis and it's where the very hard ground can bruise the pony's feet. So here's our farm manager trying to soften the ground because it was so hard this year. So let's look at what to do if your pony has laminitis or you think he may be getting it. The first thing to do is pop him in the stable off of the grass and on a nice soft deep bed of wood chips. That makes it more comfortable for him. And the vet will often prescribe a low sugar feed. Here we are, hello Brule. And in that feed is a little medicine and anti-inflammatory. And that can help a lot. Now Robin Hood here is standing on the soft rubber mats that we've put outside. And that can help a lot too, to make the feet feel more comfortable. Is that good Robin? Yes. Now if your pony has laminitis, you are going to need the help of your farrier to trim back his feet because laminitic feet grow a bit faster than normal feet so he'll need regular visits to keep his feet in trim. So you need your farrier to help you and also your vet may be able to take an x-ray of the feet and then they can see what's going on in the feet. And this is quite easy to do these days. And it's very, very helpful because you can find out if the laminitis is a problem. So it's always best to try to stop laminitis before it starts. So by keeping your pony slim 
and by giving him plenty of exercise, you have the best chance of avoiding laminitis. But if you do get laminitis, don't be downhearted. It is a very common problem and it can be cured with careful management. And your pony will soon be happy and healthy again. Thank you so much for your interest in our Shetland ponies. Bookings for our summer programme are now open. You can book online at shetlandponyclub.co.uk and there's a new film here every Wednesday. Thank you.